like this where the offense wasn't really ever clicking to, to finish the way that you guys did? What, what, is, what did you learn about your team as far as their fight? Well, the, the biggest thing, as I told the guys, the message in the locker room was every night has to be our uh, uh, defense has to be our constant. And we've talked about that all year. There's going to be nights where the ball does not go in the hoop like tonight. And you have to be able to continue to guard on that other end. You can't drop your head. You can't feel sorry for yourself. You got to keep going out there and defending at a high level. And, and that's exactly what our guys did. I believe it was nine minutes where we held them without a point. And Kase hit the two threes. Uh, you know, take the lid off the basket, and then I think we went on a 17 to nothing run after that. So defensively, I was really proud of our guys for continuing to go out there and battle. It's not easy. I'm telling you from experience, when the ball doesn't go in the hole, to be able to have the mindset to continue to defend, continue to communicate. Uh, it's a physical team. We knew we were going to get a battle on the glass, and uh, this team out rebounded Marquette the other night, and I thought we did a great job of hitting first creating that rebound area, and going up and finishing the possession with two hands. What, what did you like about your defensive effort tonight? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things to like on that end. Obviously, we, we were not very good offensively. Uh, you know, we continued to drive into the crowd, which we talked about them swarming the ball. Uh, we just could not deliver the pass and make the play. Uh, I thought we had some good looks. You know, Rink had a couple wide open ones that were confident he'll knock down. Kese certainly had his share. I thought he was pressing a little bit early. Uh, but then sometimes, a lot, well, a lot of times, you think Case is pressing and he makes the shot. So, we, we, you know, we want him hunting uh, shots and being aggressive on the offensive end. I thought CJ gave us a huge boost off the bench coming off and, and hitting uh, all three of his threes in the first half and giving, giving us a little bit of a cushion uh, going into the break. And then, you know, we found a way to continue to compete. And, you know, that's what it's all about. You got to keep going out there. You got to keep fighting, clawing, scratching. And, and that was one of those games tonight. Rusty coming in? Or? Yeah, of course. I mean, it, 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 you know, he's had two practices, and he, he was in such a good rhythm when he got hurt. So when you have that amount of time off without being able to go out and get live reps, it's impossible to simulate that game action when you're in there doing a one on o workout and doing most of your conditioning on a bike or on an uh, Alter G Zero Gravity treadmill. So, you know, for him to come out here and hit those two, you know, just shows the growth, I think, of Kese. He continued to compete defensively and then, you know, finally takes the lid off with, with the great shot on the step back. It was almost one of those where he was wide open. He was thinking, and he hit the little step back in the corner uh, on a baseline out of bounds play. And then the next time down, I thought Jamarcus did a great job throwing ahead, finding him uh, to hit the next one, and then we never looked back <coughs> after that. Um, so, yeah, Kese is going to be fine. It, uh, it's good to have him back out there, obviously. That three in the second half, that satellite out of bounds, but ring set the screen in the corner. That's a pretty big guy. They got out of the way in a tight spot. I mean, that's, you trust him in that. that yeah, way. yeah. And, you know, I, to show you Casey's confidence, I mean, he hit that thing from behind the backboard in that yeah. corner over there after missing, I think, the you know previous four or five in a row that were open. So, you know, for him to continue to uh, uh, hunt his shot, for guys to continue to look for him. Uh, that's a play we put in this morning against uh, against our zone baseline out, and it was good to see our guys execute it. What a, um, a defense as aggressive as Ryder plays, what kind of challenges does that create? Yeah, I mean, we saw we saw some of it the other night in uh, in the game last week where they were swarming it. We did obviously did not take very good care of the ball. The disappointing thing, we we, we did a great job in our first game of limiting uh, uh, contested rim twos and we got back to taking those again tonight and you know when you're in there getting your shot blocked that's going to fuel transition uh, going the other way we have to be better decision makers uh, we're over penetrating right now and when we're getting in there our decision making you know rink tried to magic johnson behind the back behind the head pass instead of just going up and finishing and taking the layup those are things we need those points you know we have to get them in a close game every every uh, every one of those matters so we need to grow. We need to get better uh, in those areas. Come in. Jamarcus made a great play in the second half. That that fast break layup uh, that he got us with his pace going down the floor. Those are the possessions we need. You know, when you get into the paint, come to a jump stop, make the right play, and finish at the basket. Oh, like you, you guys maybe in the first ten minutes try to hammer the post a little bit, or guys were just 
doing that on their own, they just felt like they're trying to back down and back down. Yeah, yeah, and we were too stagnant. stagnant. Yeah, there's no, there's no doubt about it. We were, we were too stagnant early. We, we were playing too much one-on-one. Uh, you know, we're a pretty good team when we get movement. <clears throat> um, the other thing, we did a, uh, got a couple good possessions where we threw the shake pass, got the ball inside, and finished. And, you know, we need to get more of that, especially when the three-point uh, three shot's not falling. Last week you said uh, Juwan might be available. <clears throat> Sometime this week, do you have any update on the visit? Uh, not yet. We'll uh, we'll hopefully get through practice tomorrow and then um, see how everything goes, and then have an update on uh, on game day on Wednesday. Have, have you, how much have you looked ahead to uh, Stony Brook? I guess we're not clear. Yeah, I I have not watched one possession. That's that's what uh, my next step is. Go back and watch this one and put an edit together for the morning. We'll watch watch it as we do every day. Watch an offensive, defensive cleanup. And then uh, move on. It's going to be a mental day tomorrow. Um, you know, with the week ahead with Stony Brook, and then two days. Uh, you know, it's a fun week as a player. You, you know, you love these where you don't have uh, all these practices between games. We'll mental prep tomorrow. Come in for a shoot around where we'll go a little heavier than we would normally go because of uh, tomorrow being mostly um, uh, put in the game plan. And then hopefully come out and play well and play complete on both ends of the floor on Wednesday night. Thanks, guys. Thank you.